At the Johnson School in Charlottesville, Virginia, you've got to run pretty fast to keep up with the instructional coordinator, Dr. Sharon Walpole. So do I need to get an intervention going? She directs the school's homegrown reading program called RISE, Reading Initiative for Student Excellence. How are you, Shana? Fine. You gonna have a good day? Uh-huh. Okay. Every morning, kids regroup across grade levels for 90 minutes of reading instruction. Please dismiss all students to RISE. Teachers can focus on a narrow range of skills because groups are based on reading achievement. These kids are about to find out that spelling makes sense. Our spelling system is regular. It's not a mystery. It's a regular system with some exceptions. Ms. Gorman's not going to be giving children the message that spelling's just hard and you have to memorize it. That's not what spelling instruction at Johnson School is like, and I don't think that's what sensible spelling instruction is like anywhere. Okay, so today for word study, we're going to be talking about what we've been talking about all week. We're talking about action words. Second and third grade teacher Madeline Gorman guides word study, the explicit and active exploration of words' features. Rather than memorizing rules, students are discovering spelling patterns. And we're going to talk about how we add the ing to the verb so that we can use it in the past and in the present and in the future. So Ms. Gorman works with the ing ending because most of her students are starting to spell multisyllabic words. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a couple of examples together. I'm going to get you guys to help me read the words and we'll figure out if it's a double drop or nothing. Okay? So how about... This one. Raise your hand if you can read this. Chanel? Shaking. Shaking. Double drop or nothing? E drop. Shake. Good job. E drop. Okay, how about this one? Kelsey? Knitting. Knitting. What did we do to knitting before we added the ING? Put the T. We added the T. So is that double drop or nothing? Double. 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 Good job. We doubled that T. Okay, how about this one? Tron. Can you read that for me? Spading. Speeding, good job. What's the base word? Not all speak. What did you do to it to add the ing? Nothing. Nothing, good. Absolutely nothing. Just added the ing. This is a wonderful time to be restructuring reading programs because we know so much about how children learn to read. There's no real guesswork in it anymore. There is enormous amount of direction available now to people who are really starting to craft reading programs that work for all children. The RISE program and the focused efforts of Johnson staff appear to be working. When Dr. Walpole arrived at the school, only one-third of students met the Virginia State Reading Standard at the end of third grade. Two years later, that figure had risen to one-half. My relationship with the teachers here has grown enormously so that they know that when I'm reading in academic books and trying to cook up new ideas about how to teach our children better, um, that I will respect their response to those ideas. And as they try them in their classrooms, I'll watch, I'll talk to them about it, and we'll make something out of those ideas that works for our children. We underline the ING there. Major funding for Reading Rockets comes from the United States Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs. For author interviews, recommended reading lists, and information about teaching kids to read, please visit us online at www.readingrockets.org.